Hey guys, Akash here. In the previous lecture, we discussed X taper and sexy weight range, and I provided formulas, ratios, and quoted scientific study to explain you how to achieve these things. I urge you to watch that lecture to really understand what the first two parts of the first pillar is all about. In this lecture, I will give you a detailed idea about the third part, which is the body fat percentages for both men and women, and you'll be able to identify what body fat percentage range you are in without any use of equipments. So let's begin. Body fat is fluffy. It's like cotton. When you lose fat, you lose inches. Whereas muscle is, is dense, is like a piece of iron. And that's where that's why when you lose fat the right way, of course, you notice that you're losing inches, but your weight is not moving. You're getting smaller, but you look lean, toned, and much better. This is because you are also gaining muscles simultaneously. The body fat is mainly two types. Um, the first is the visceral fat, which surrounds your organs and mainly composes of your belly fat. The other type of fat is subcutaneous fat, which is the fat underneath your skin. So here's a chart that I designed for you guys to get a clear understanding of um, different body fat ranges. So it's pretty clear um, that unless you're competing in a bodybuilding competition, going below 6% body fat is useless. It's futile. So let's start with the range between 7 to 9%. Now, this is the range I achieved when I got my fashion portfolio done way back in 2007. This is where my abs were clearly defined, my face got super angular, and there were clear muscle separation and vascularity. In fact, at the time of recording this lecture, I am at around 9%. Now, most fitness models, Hollywood and Bollywood actors, are required to be in this range. Guys, we live in a world where leanness is celebrated. So here are some pictures of your favorite movie actors. Now, uh, please do note that movie cameras also make um, the actors look 40% bigger. So this is another reason why these actors are super lean. This range of body fat is not sustainable. Most of these actors, when they're not uh, pursuing a movie role that requires them to be uh, in this range, they definitely carry more fat around otherwise. So next is the 10 to 12% range. I strongly feel this is the range which is ideal for any man to maintain. Again, this is still a very personal decision, but unless you're planning to become a fitness model or actor or even a bodybuilder, going below 10% is not worth the sacrifice. In fact, when you look at the world's most popular bodybuilders of all times, Steve Reeves and Arnold Schwarzenegger, they competed at 9% body fat percentage. Then why then average folks like you and me want to target low single digit? So let's move up to 14 to 16%. For men, this is where muscle definition starts to go away. The separation uh, vascularity also starts to get covered by a layer of body fat. Although there is still some visibility of your six pack, provided you have worked them with weights and made them blocky. Next is the 70 to 20% range. Guys, your six pack will completely disappear here. Your belly will start to protrude and your face will start to look rounder. So here's me uh, at between 18 to 20% body fat. In fact, I was uh, more towards the 20% range. So um, now in both the pictures, do note that there isn't much different uh, difference in the muscle mass that I'm carrying. In both the pictures, it's almost the same, but the one on the right is where I'm at 10% body fat. So there's a huge difference uh, on my face and, and uh, obviously on my belly, which is not visible here. But 10% of body fat can make such a big difference. In, so when you start going over 20% body fat, things start to get out of hand and out of shape. So I recommend for any man watching this presentation to strive and stay below 20% body fat. 
If you want to drastically improve your looks, I would suggest you aim to go below 15%, ideally between 10 to 12%. That's a perfect range for men. Ladies, now it's your turn. This is the chart I created for for women, and uh, as it is, uh, it's pretty clear that going below 14% is useless. Now, do note, women have essential fats on their breast and uh, hips for reproduction purpose, and therefore the essential fat is eight to ten percent. And for men, the level of essential fat is two to three, which is obviously required for the body to function and protect protect its organs. Any corresponding range for females will be approximately. 8 to 10 percent more for example 12 percent in men would approximately approximately mean 20 to 22 percent for females so moving on uh, for uh, for women uh, the range between 14 to 17 is also reserved for female athletes or fitness models who are competing 18 to 21 percent for uh, uh, females is the range where you'll find all your favorite actresses and fashion models. The main focus is not to display muscle, but simply to attain a defined, chiseled, angular face, flat tummy, uh, shaped legs, and um, uh, being in this body fat range provides just that. This range is also considered pretty low and super tough to maintain. The next range for women is between 22 to 25 percent. Uh, here females start to store more fat in their breast, hips and thighs and if they have good muscle mass they can look the best in this range. And I also strongly feel this is the best range for any female to have if they want uh, to look their best and be optimally healthy. Uh, ladies, studies have shown when a female starts to go below 20% body fat, they can develop uh, uh, something called a female athlete triad. Now, the female athlete triad is an interrelationship of menstrual dysfunction, low energy availability, uh, and decreased bone mineral density. It is relatively common among young women participating in sports. Um, diagnosis and treatment of this potential serious condition are complicated and often requires an interdisciplinary team. Athletic endeavor, endeavors such as gymnastics, figure skating, ballet, distance learning, diving and swimming that emphasizes low body weight and a lean physique can, all, can also increase the risk of developing the female athlete tribe. So be careful when you're trying to go below 20%. For females now, the 26 to 29% is still a very much desirable range. This is a corresponding range of 70 to 20% for men. Now, this range for females is very easy to maintain provided you have an active lifestyle and, a good, and good eating habits. Notice the picture, the, 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 the woman in the picture have good muscle tone, her tummy is almost flat with good curves. I think that's desirable for any man. Um, women for between 30 and 33 percent, it's still okay from the health point of view. But I would suggest you stay slightly less than 30 percent to not only look your best but also feel your best. Now, lastly, do note the chart and pictures for both men and women in the corresponding body fat ranges just gives you an idea and are simply an estimation. In actuality, the body fat range and the way one looks are dependent on many factors. For example, if a person is more muscular, even if he has more body fat, he will give you an illusion that he has less. So what percentage do you think Mark Wahlberg would be in this picture? Well, it's really tough to guess, but I think he would be around between 21 and 24 percent. I mean, the other thing that matters quite a lot is where your fat cells are distributed. For a skinny fat person like me and millions of the others like me, the side to store fat is on the belly and face. All the wrong places, I know. Uh, whereas for someone like Mark, Mark Wahlberg, it's all over the body. So I hope I've given you a good start from where you can predict your body fat percentages without using any type of equipment. If you have any doubts or comments, let me know below. Thank you so much for listening.